morning and welcome back to a new video. In this video we are not doing something with the cosmetics or improving any other things. We are going to work on one thing and one thing only which is the front loader. We are going to hopefully get the arms built, maybe not the bucket but that's going to be in the future video. We are going to build up the arms and uh, hopefully it's going to lift up with the cylinders and work perfectly fine but yeah. Uh, we're gonna get started by building up the arms. So the arms, not the arms, but the kind of what's holding the arms. So those are gonna go like two beams here, and that's gonna have arms on it. I actually got the metal from our neighbors. He gave me some metal to help me out with this project because it is getting quite expensive with all this hydraulic stuff. Um, and I'm trying to keep it kind of low budget and more or less scrapyard build. But yeah, I'm gonna get started by cutting those. So we're gonna cut them on the bandsaw and uh, see how we can make it. We also need a metal going across on the bottom to hold the weight down and uh, yeah, so let's get started. So this is the metal I got. Uh, this is a square tube. Uh, it's quite a um, big one. Oh, it has water inside. And I also got this one. So this one's gonna hold it up. I think they're fine enough and uh, they're gonna go this one in here. They're not uh, having the gap that I need, but I can just cut, I'm gonna cut the backs off anyways, and then I weld it on to the this one here. So it's gonna go pretty much like that on at the top. So yeah, we need to cut this ones off. I need to give them back this plate at the end, and uh, also this side. So we're gonna cut off whatever we need and bring back the rest. So yeah, let's get started. That saw is amazing. Cuts so nice and straight.
So as you can see, I have the two arms are done. Quite heavy since I'm using this pretty heavy metal. Um, but I don't think it's going to be much of a problem. It's just a bit heavier than it should be. If we see that it's a problem, we might just change it. But yeah, uh, my neighbor has given us this metal. So this is going to go in between. He's very kind to donate me this metal. Um, I don't know how I'm going to repay him. I guess if the tool works good, I can do some shoveling jobs for him. And bring some things around. But yeah, so we're going to get started now to put this here. And the cylinder is going to go against this one. So yeah, uh, that's kind of the next thing up on the list. So let's get started by cutting these to length and welding them on. And then we need to attach the attachment here for the cylinder, connect the cylinder. And then in, t in sense, we should be able to test the lifting capabilities if it's able to even lift its own weight, which is not even finished with a bucket. So yeah, we need to do these tests just to know that we're going in the right direction. So, if you could understood from the last clips that I showed there, I installed an on-off switch. So now we have an actual switch to turn the engine on and off. And uh, yeah, uh, let's start it and uh, hopefully it's able to lift its own weight. So yeah, let's give it a try. Turn the switch on, choke and... Okay, that was a mistake. I forgot I did not weld anything to completion. It was just test welded. And it's like, let's try to lift ourselves up. Uh, that backfired. Okay, hopefully we could just put it back and weld it and should not be a problem. But it works, that's the point. So I can weld everything properly now. And uh, I think it has no further problems. I don't think oil is leaking anymore. We don't have a problem with engine stalling out. Uh, but yeah, I think it's going as planned. So, as you can see, it is working amazingly, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty surprised how efficiently it works. Okay, I'm not the heaviest, I'm really not heavy at all, uh, but I hope it can lift like three, four hundred kilos, you know, because uh, a full load of gravel is quite heavy, depending how big I make the bucket, but uh, I have a, I already know the size, I just hope it's big enough. I'm scared to make a bucket that's too small, uh, and then, you know, it's a lot of driving up and down. And then also, we need to make a fork for hay, and for loose hay, we're not going to be lifting hay rolls with this. This is not what it's for at all. That's what the big tractor's for. This is for all the small jobs. As you can, as you saw with the big tractor, we could not rip out the hay from the barn. This, it could rip it out, tilt it, and bring it away. 
Uh, the big tractor is not that good at this jobs and uh, this will be what it's for. I do need to solve one problem which is tilting too much. It is going to side, which I need to add some stoppers. The front wheels are made so they can tilt, but they need to have a stopper. They need to have a limit how much they can do it because they're doing it way too much where it can pretty much fall over. And as the weight goes so high up, it is really easy to make it fall over. So we need to make it really stable. But other than that, it works good. You can drive and move the hydraulics. It does not really bother the engine too much. I'm really surprised how much this little engine is able to do. But yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it for this video. We're gonna continue in the next one. I think it's gonna be quite a good e equipment. I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to put it to the test. So yeah, uh, we're gonna get started on working on the next things and see how it works on those. But this is it for you and hope you enjoy. We're gonna see you next time. Bye-bye.